All right, friends, Doc South here. As many of you know, uh, I, I work in a dairy section uh, and uh, at a supermarket, and the um, I, I like it. I don't know. I, I kind of like the work. I don't, go figure. <laughs> you know, uh, most people, you know, you stick them in the dairy aisle to work, and uh, you know, the the tears start to flow. But for some reason, I dig it. I think it's um, somehow it it's. To me, it's good physical labor. I can use physical labor, you know, being a DJ. Um, the uh, and and I don't know. I get to talking to people, and I like the idea of providing uh, safe food uh, for everyone, making sure the aisles in good shape, decent order. I don't know. It's it's for some reason it's something I like. The exercise, like I think I may have said, is uh, very good for me. Uh, gosh, I've lost. Since I started about uh, 10, 11 years ago, I think I've lost about 40 pounds. Yeah, and, and actually for an old geezer, I'm in pretty good shape. I'm a tough old, <laughs> tough old coot. Uh, and that's cool. I'd kind of dig it. So, oh no, you know, it's, uh, it's nice. So the, um, but there's one chore uh, that, you, that I've done now for 12 years, usually at the end of the shift. Uh, especially if I'm working the shift that takes me into the evening. That's usually, yeah, usually early evening is when we do something called blocking the aisle. Now, that doesn't mean we lay around on the aisle blocking progress, you know, keeping people away. No, no, wait, we're blocking this aisle, ma'am. You must stay away. No, no. It means, <laughs> it means I, well, it means straightening up the aisle. I have no idea why they call it blocking now that you mention it. I would just say go straighten up the aisle. <laughs> and check for outdates. Pretty much, you know, after a day of shopping, the customers uh, have, you know, have really rooted through everything, and you got to get it looking ship shape again. You know, things got to be, uh, the, uh, the gallons of uh, whole milk got to be where the gallons of whole milk are supposed to be. You'd su be surprised how they get moved around. Yogurt's got to be lined up neat and pretty again. The butter's got to be yeah, and, and what you do is you basically pull everything to the front of the shelf, make sure the uh, dates are okay. Like uh, today's what, the uh, 28th of uh, August. So anything now dated September 1st um, uh, or back. Uh, in fact, anything, yeah, anything dated, actually I should say that differently. Anything dated August 31st gets pulled uh, today if we, if we spot anything. So, yeah, and of course, anything older uh, than this being the, the 28th definitely gets pulled. But, yeah, actually, uh, we pull out uh, stuff would still be good for three days, but we pull it. Um, that way the customer gets, you know, uh, four or five days uh, to consume their product uh, that they've purchased. So that's how it works. Okay. Usually we're pretty good at that. It's uh, you got to have sharp eyes to read the doggone uh, dates on a lot of these things. You got to know where the dates are on the on the item. Uh, it's it, it's yeah. It well it take long story short. It takes uh, a dairy case that's maybe uh, 120 feet long uh, or a little longer. It takes you a good hour and a half, two hours to do right. Yeah, you can do it fast if you just don't care, but. If uh, I care, I, I like seeing everything just right. So it takes a while. Okay, so it takes a while. Okay, when it's done, boy, it's kind of pretty. Well, I know when I first started, I didn't always feel that way about blocking the aisle. And we're talking now, oh gosh, it's, well, the old A&P. Yeah, the old A&P. I used to work for one in Mount Olive, New Jersey, near Bud Lake. And the uh, I, I know one night I was blocking the aisle, and I don't know, I'm, the customers really had it messed up. Oh, God. And um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I, I, I never cuss, you know, verbally, but I was cussing under my breath. Right? I was getting like Mr. Whipple. Remember him? He didn't want anyone touching the Charmin. Okay. Well, <laughs> I used to think he was funny, but now sometimes, you know, you make a display and people wreck it on you. And, you know, the first two minutes, you do get a little sore. Uh, but the, um, but so I'm, I'm pulling a Mr. Whipple uh, when our manager, uh, I think his name was Mike, uh, came around. And he, uh, Mike kind of reminded me of uh, kind of like Sergeant Bilko. Remember Phil Silver's character? Only Mike had more hair. 
And, uh, but he was a good people person. He always liked how I worked hard. In, f- in fact, one day he just looked at me and said, South, you got a raise. What? I said, what? He says, I'm, 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 prov- I'm, re- I'm invoking manager privilege. You're getting a little bit more. You're working way too hard for me to pay you what you're getting paid. You know, stuff like that. He was a good guy. I don't know how he pulled that off, but he did. Don't ask. Right. The, um, so, so I'm blocking the aisle. And he says, so how you doing, South? I said, oh, God. These people, they wrecked the aisle. Look at this. I got it. God, 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 yeah. And I got all this stuff to do, and they, the, the, the outdates, and I got, God, look at this. I got milk where the buttermilk should be, and I got whipped cream where the doggone yogurt ought to be. And oh, my God. He says, Well, wait a minute now. He says, Let's think about this. I, What's to think about? Look at this. He says, Well, he says, first off, you're doing a good job. Straight, I can see where you've straightened out, and I see you got work to ahead of you. That's cool. Okay. He says, what you got to do, he says, is think of it this way. <laughs> he says, what would you like? <clears throat> An aisle all neat and pretty with nothing, and, and nothing is sold for the day. He says, all this stuff uh, rooted around and messed with means people bought. He says, in fact, I looked. The dairy did pretty good today as far as sales went. You, but it's a mess. He says, but what would you rather have? A neat and pretty aisle and no money in the cash register? Or lots of money in the cash register and a certified job waiting for you? You got money coming because they messed the aisle up. You just got to straighten it out. That's all. Take your time. No one's telling you to, it's got to be done in 10 minutes. Do it right. I said, well, yeah, now that you mention it. <laughs> he says, come here. Stand back with me. Take a look. He says, look at, look at where you've worked. Isn't it beautiful? I said, you know, it is. Jeez, look at that. He says, now look where you got to work. I said, oh, oh. He said, calm down. Think of it another way. Think of it. Think of it. Feel your wallet. I said, yeah, yeah. He says, yeah. Think of it all full of money. I said, yeah, you're right. Okay, I got gotcha. you. And I went to work uh, with, a, with a big old grin on my face. So that's, uh, yeah, so that's blocking the aisle. And, it, and, and actually, uh, a lot, you know, a person who can look at what might be a problem and see it as an opportunity is, uh, yeah, pretty cool person to know. I always liked Mike. He's a good guy. I think when uh, AMP closed, he went to work. Uh, I think he manages some other store. Yeah, yeah. But I always liked him. Yeah. Actually, all, all the managers I've had aren't, uh, were actually pretty good. They're they're under a lot of pressure to perform, and uh, they they got it rough. But they uh, most of them are up to the challenge. Pretty cool. Anyway, I thought I'd mention, and uh, there you go. I got to get off. To, in fact, I've got to go work in the dairy today, and I'll be kind of glad. It's supposed to be like a heat index of about a hundred today. We're okay as long as the chillers keep running. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing you don't want to hear, yeah, the, the last thing you want to hear in the uh, dairy aisle on a day like today is dead silence. You don't want to hear that dead silence. No, you want to hear those chillers humping. Man, I'll tell you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, here, let's get going. Uh, have a good day, friends. And, uh, you know, look for the opportunities. And if something's bugging you, maybe try to look at the other side of it somehow, if you can. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye now. God bless.